we don't have anything like this in New Jersey. I've never been around so many, so much love, so many passionate people that kind of like, I wouldn't say want the same thing, but want to get to the same place and motivate each other. Like when I'm here, I feel like, okay, I come from a place where like, I've been in around a lot of negative situations. so. It's kind of like that's when you're used to that that's kind of like what you see but when I'm here I feel like not judged accepted people are always just like you know uplifting you motivating you giving you reasons to to keep going to believe in yourself to follow your dreams and even seeing how people really go hard and follow their dreams makes you want to go hard even harder to follow your dreams like you know it's just it's always good energy it's just love like i it feels like family shows so my check one Tuesdays as a variety show uh, was just like the smartest thing to do first as a show because you get all kinds of acts and uh, you get to learn about what people in our community do most mm, nonsense yeah but um you know nevertheless like sometimes you know people really feel about their art they be like that since then how do I even say it to them? you be like yo oh! the your bars, dope. Yeah, mix down I on your track. Me, but... No, I can't do that. Yeah, like, oh, that's why. That's why you're Leo the Lord. You know, become the Lord. The Lion. You gotta right. tell them to him straight. Tell so, like, yo, your track is cool. We like your track, but the mix down on it, we don't think is gonna work as a performance track. Do you have a performance track? Say it professionally. Do you have a performance track? Like, it's important. Uh, no, it's yeah. not definitely it's the internet yeah. broadcast. Like, if you walk in the building, you can go to right. It's no, it's not. We can down some of the work. Yeah, you know, you can go outside. Huh? You can go outside. There you go. And I'm really trying to parlay this good flow that we've had, because last time the show was really good, into getting, like, the next month of people registered and whatnot. What would you say the environment is like when you guys are setting up for the show? Um, I think there's like a feeling of excitement because every time there's something different, uh, you never know what is going to be um, it's going to be on the broadcast. Hip hop oriented, it's going to be all spoken word, a good mix of everything. We've had dancers come on stage, so you really just never know what to expect. So that's exciting. And how do you guys go about creating each episode? Uh, well, we have a registration process and a bunch of people register to perform, and we have a selection process and we get together and basically we try to put together the best lineup 
possible. Try to make sure that it's eclectic and that everybody's talented as well. Guys, round of applause for Stefan Marcellus. <laughs> I was the one you always dreamed of. You were the one I tried to draw. Oh, how dare you say it's nothing to me? Baby, you're the only light I ever saw. I make the most of all the sadness. You be a bitch because you can. Oh, you try to hit me just to hurt me, so you leave me feeling dirty because I can't understand. We go in time, and I can see it. Too. guys get started and how did the creation of Mic Check 1 Tuesday happen? Once we got to the studio, um, we knew that we wanted to create content and I think that the talent showcase part of it was something that we definitely thought that we could do because we had access to a lot of people with the talent and we knew that we could, you know, get people in the space so we were kind of, I guess, be killing two birds with one stone or like introducing people to the space and us as a group and what we do as well as like having the show you know that will entertain people and have people express their creativity. You want Adrian to get you what? Yeah. I got this shirt right here that I'm gonna wear on the broadcast. Adrian's got a shirt steamer. The only person I've ever seen with a shirt steamer is Phoenicia. It's dope though. Remember that one time? Freaking uh, I was like yo Kai was <laughs> SDI wired uh, throughout the whole building, hardwired. Uh, it's like you're probably familiar with HDMI cords, like what you put into your PlayStation to get that crisp look. This is SDI, baby. It's a step up. Come on, son. Is this for the reality TV show? Yo, you know how I feel about this. That's a good job. That's my job. Uh, I think Leo heard slips earlier, but uh, we gotta find the hat. Usually Grace has it, but Grace just finished her intern shit last week, so now I'm like kind of lost without it. My most memorable memory with BCNN my most memorable memory memorable tap my name so I know it's real so you know it's real memory with BCNN. People do some crazy things tonight. We played two good day last week. Everybody thought it was so much fun. So we have some more crazy, wild, wacky things for you to do. All right, guys. So this is a practice round. No, that's not no. Brown for their partner. That partner has to catch the the ball with their cup. We'll have a stack of cups. That's what makes it funny. Alright, Swavy, 90 seconds on the clock. You need to turn the balloon around. Uh, yeah. Come on, cheer, guys, cheer! Okay, that's one! That's two!
would have to be the first mic check one Tuesdays. Not the first uh, run through or the first time we ran the event with just our close friends and the other producers, but I would say like week three. Uh, we had just got the LED lights and they were incredibly bright. And the cameras were set up and there was about 65 people in the live studio audience. And Teresa is running around saying, everybody places to showtime. And Josh was a little bit nervous to give the speech before the show started. And there was still some bumbling and some fumbling of different processes, but we had enough under our belt that within ourselves, we had an expectation for a more coordinated show. <laughs> Um, that was geared a little bit more towards excellence. And I remember this, uh, this thrilling feeling that we had created this machine that, that we had put together this transformer that was made up of all of the sum of our best efforts and how connected we all were in this creative effort from the camera operators to the technical director running the broadcast, the broadcast director, the CG operator, to the screen operators, the stage managers, the different production assistants, uh, the venue coordinator and the person running the concession stands. Uh, even the person helping people to their seats, the hands that were helping us move things on and off of the stages, the DJ, the audio engineer. Um, we were all locked in to a single purpose. And for this moment in time, nothing else mattered. Um, didn't matter what anybody's ex-girlfriend was saying to them, or ex-boyfriend was saying to them. Uh, we didn't care about what the weather was doing outside. We were in a very interesting harmony where uh, the synergy, where, where art meets life. We had found the place. Hi guys, uh, I'm Sean. Um, I write poems and tell stories, however that needs to be told. I live by Mount Holly, your Camden, and I go to school by Montclair State University. Uh, from the city, New York, or New York City, Philly, being an immigrant, having multiple languages, uh, and how that influenced my culture, uh, my school, or, and my history has influenced a lot. Tarantism is a medical condition where the body can't help but move when it hears music. I'm diagnosed with this. And before I found this poetry, whatever you call it, my friends and I discovered dancing. It was something that saved our lives. We learned to pop our bodies instead of pills. We only ever needed to be light on our feet whenever we wanted to feel high. Didn't need to black out from drinking. We would blank out while dancing, enter this zone, free from this world around us, some music come to life like this, wind painting the air, sounds swirling into colors through us, but don't be mistaken, y'all, we never tripped on E, we were too smooth with our feet sliding across dance floors, the friction was just another drug to stay away from, sometimes I didn't know what to do about these life problems, pulling at heartstrings, so I learned to isolate my chest into places where this pain couldn't reach me, where I thickened my heartstrings into cable wires, pulled my head high, leaned in. My check has really pushed me to, to create new work and new pieces just because uh, I want to have something new and memorized every single time to keep things fresh. Looked strife dead in the eye and challenged him to a battle because his trebles sucker punched me in the base of my diaphragm because he was out from my ankles because he convinced me that there's no point after he's got them like he's got me tripping on these trebles that he left in my shadow like this debt heavy wallet like this arm and leg I'm giving up just to keep eating so I'm gonna tell you something when it keeps eating away at you when you got stress 
clutching your shoulders, digging his talons underneath your skin, wave your arms into wings, make it the closest thing you have to flying because he will try to weigh you down to latch onto your heels so you're dragging whatever is left of you. Show him he has no weight on people who've learned how to walk on the moon, catch your conflicts and angles, shift, switch, slide, shift, switch, keep the problems all in a box that you are a fortress trying to break through to get you to crack, to tear at the hem of your shirt till you rub, 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 from your own way so stand firm, stop your heel in the earth and pulsate through your chest till you at the high swing like eruptions and proclaim yourself. Mike Tyson, your arms make this beat bounce off you into the eardrums of a bystander. Look into him. Remind him why you have this uncontrollable urge to move when no words can express any of this emotion you want to convey. Remind him why you have this condition. I enjoy watching uh, artists not only collaborate but uh, come up with things on the spot. We've had a number of jam sessions after shows, we've had a number of collaborations outside of the studio, we've had a number of performances that were off the top that just gives a uh, guess aspect to being at a show that wasn't necessarily prepared for you. Uh, it's something that was just uh, organically spilled uh, at BC. Uh, if you do, would like to perform, uh, we are full for um, the live broadcast, but if you want to perform afterwards, you can uh, find Leo and he can sign you up. Uh, at the end of the night, uh, we will have people um, voting for who won the variety show uh, via Twitter. Uh, and Duche will uh, give you all that information as well. Uh, and just be respectful of everybody that gets up here, uh, treat them like your family, um, and laugh as much. Uh, I think BCNN is a place where um, we harbor uh, the growth of art and, and people come here not only to enjoy watching but to enjoy the atmosphere that we create of artists and uh, performers and just people that, that are idea people that want to be around other people that are idea people as well that have that, that spark. My favorite moment at Mic Check has to be the moment I found out that our first two uh, artists, uh, apart from Mic Check, had collaborated and done a song together and debuted it at Mic Check. I thought that was an amazing moment for not only for uh, our performers but our growth as. Um, the Burton County Neighborhood Network that we're really trying to put together a community of people who not only strive for art, but are art themselves. Um, I just think that we provide a, a, a an area where people can just be themselves. Uh, we, we, work, we work with a lot of um, friends that we have uh, developed these relationships uh, with over the years. And Coming into that as an outsider gives a lot of people um, the ability to, to relax and be themselves. It doesn't, it doesn't take um, someone walking up to them and, and saying hello. It's really just about the atmosphere that we create uh, at BCN. Right. Guys, if you're here in the building, can I hear you say yeah? Yeah! the battery pack charger. That battery pack charger charges all the batteries that are compatible for all of the LED lights. Oh man, when you first walk in, you feel almost an anxiety that something is about to happen. You just feel the energy. Um, and when, uh, especially when we first started throwing it, there was just a very nervous energy. 
um, because then at a certain point, boom, this whole place just filled up with people. Um, now, we've been doing it for so long, it's not a nervous energy, but there's still, there's still, uh, the energy isn't coming from us. It's still the energy in the air. Uh, it is still, you still feel the electricity. <laughs> that something is going to happen. <laughs> But you're here to support them, and that female power is going to prevail over the men who try to do that. Or, or you can just, you know, okay, you can just hold it down. All right, 25 seconds. Best is going to be ready. Are you ready? Do you see these words right here? You have to act them out. It's charades. Ready? Go. So then. Well, that was it. Keep going. free, it's inviting, there's nothing but love, there's never fear in the room, like, I don't think that anyone that has ever come here has ever left the stage, like, shaken up about touching it, there's nothing but love that comes back from the audience and all the people that work here, and I would say it's inspiring energy, when you come in here, it inspires you to be who you are and what you're destined to be. As soon as I came into the studio, I was like, wow, like, I've never been anywhere like this before. Honestly, like, the live stream, um, the ambiance of the crowd, like, it's very, like, all different types of people. All different types of people. Um, yeah. And it just seemed really legit. Like, it, I already felt like it was a real show. Like, as soon as I came in, I felt like I was about to be involved in something, like, real and up and coming, you know? Any community needs a place like this. There aren't many places like this. I feel like in life in general, we go through the motions a lot. Like, you know, we go through the schooling system and then we're always doing the next right thing or the next step that we're supposed to take. Like, after high school, then it's college, and after college, it's find a job. But in places like this, like, you have the chance to be free and to discover yourself and to experience others doing the same thing and learn from others. I feel like I'm a firm believer in the fact that everyone has a creative trait in them. Like we all have to express ourselves in some way and there's so many levels of expression, different types of expression. So a place like this where art and media and expression is completely supported is so necessary. Behind that wall over there is like a TV broadcasting room. 
And if you ever want to peek your head in the door to see what goes on, it's like all these all these uh, cameras on the wall switching back and forth. So when you see the cameras here, we're just not recording the show. This show is being streamed live over the internet. There is nothing like this in the tri-state area. I don't think there's anything like this. This is the Metropolitan Underground. This is the wall of Bellingham Tower. This is the Royal Room of Metropolitan Tower. Yes, I'm going to be you know his favorite one? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, stage to get ready. Uh, whoa. I was thinking about that when you, <laughs> when you asked Leo. And... That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know if it's a different one. Right. I eat everyone's food. <laughs> As director of operations, I pretty much direct the operation. <laughs> you just need places like this for all the reasons I just said. Sorry, I keep looking at you. <laughs> us to bless him with a dollar. I said, well, God didn't tell me that. <laughs> you know, he didn't tell me that. So he gave him a dollar. So we go to the pizza shop. Dude sitting out there trying to get dollars from everybody. Somebody bumps into my man James and a soda gets on. So I'm like, yo, you got to pay for that. Dude was like, all right, how much you want? How much you want? He was like, I'm like, yo, that's got to be about 150. He was like, oh, no, 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 I'm not paying that. Call the police here. Call the police here. Right there, the dude that was in the wheelchair, I swear to God, got out the wheelchair just like this. <laughs> Close that wheelchair up and start running. I can't be out here like this. <laughs> I said, James, look what your daughter has done. He has blessed. He got legs. Bro. He got legs. Even if they've given up on their dream uh, decades ago, and we provide a very safe environment for them to reconnect with those identities, and because of it, it's like <laughs> at the end of the show, nobody want to go home. And the show never ends, the show never ends, the show never ends, the show never ends. Okay. Am I free? Yes. Okay. Hey.